Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing the Spellbinders Glimmer Kit and this is for the month of August. I am loving this kit because it has um, some sort of woodland vibes to it and I'm going to show you this kit. You get these little glimmer pieces. There are leaves, an acorn, a mushroom, and a little flower and you get the sentiment that says thankful for you. So it kind of goes with the whole thankful theme of fall and I just love of all of these little pieces. I've glimmered some here with the foil that is in this kit this month. You get a really gorgeous copper foil and I think that just goes great with those warm colors um, and just some inspiration for fall. So here's that little sentiment it says thankful for you. I glimmered it in copper on that black cardstock. Um, and I'm just going to show you how I put together a card today. So along with these glimmer plates, you get the coordinating dies. So you have a, a die to cut out the mushroom, both of the leaves. You have a little die here that you can even cut out the stem of that mushroom if you wanted to cut that into two pieces. Um, you've got one for the flower, the acorn, and all of those little glimmer pieces. The only one you don't have anything for is that sentiment, but that one's easy to just trim down with your paper trimmer. You also get these little dies here that cut out this little branch and those little flowers that you can attach to the branch. You also get these tiny leaf dies. And so I've cut out a number of these for my card as well to kind of layer on the front. And I'll show you how I layered everything together a little bit later on in the video. I just wanted to give you a look at all of the pieces included in this set. You can go ahead and glimmer tons of these pretty pieces and color them and just have them on hand for layering on top of your cards. Now these pieces I did go ahead and watercolor, but you can also color with alcohol inks and I'll show you a little bit of my coloring in just a bit. Here's what I like to do when I like to glimmer. I like to go ahead and take my paper and lay my glimmer plates down on it and then I take some tape whether it's um, this tape or some of the yellow tape from Spellbinders anything that's kind of a low tack tape will work and I like to tape over my glimmer plates and then just kind of peel them back so it's kind of a hinge that way I know that when I fold my glimmer plates on that tape back over my paper they're going to be exactly where I wanted them now while I have them peeled back I'm going to add my my, um, copper foil underneath and then just place my plates back where I wanted them then I can flip it over put it on my glimmer machine and go ahead and glimmer those pieces so I've glimmered them I've cut them out with the dies and I have these just plain white pieces here that I am able to color now, like I mentioned, there's several ways you can color your glimmered pieces. Um, any gentle medium really works fine with your, your foil. You don't want anything too harsh that might scratch the foil off of that surface, but I can use my zigs and just add a little bit of watercolor and pull that color out with some water. I can use my alcohol markers. You could use colored pencils. You can ink blend over it. So there's lots of great ways that you can color over your foil. Now a lot of the pieces that I showed you previously um, just a few minutes ago was watercolored and I did many of them with my zigs here um, but I also am going to do some with my alcohol markers and I just I had so much fun coloring all of these pieces. Um, I love the warm color tones of fall and I really tried to get a lot of that woodsy type inspiration onto these little pieces here. So for this mushroom, I am using my Copics, my alcohol markers. I'm using lots of different shades of brown. And then for the top of that mushroom there, I'm also going to be using different shades of red. Now, if you want a really woodsy type of dark red, you can add in some reddish brown, which is what I like to do where where I like to put some shading. Um, I put this coloring portion at kind of warp speed so you can get an idea of how I've colored my little mushrooms, but really you can just go ahead and have fun and make them any kind of color you want. I stuck with a warm woodsy kind of palette, but you could color these bright as well. Mushrooms come in all kinds of shapes, sizes, and colors, so anything you do is just really fun. 
Now you can see I'm just using a uh, mid-tone, some darker tones, and then I'm blending it out with a light there, um, trying to give it some highlights and shadows. And I really just love how these turned out. I think that copper foil looks really great with these earthy tones and um, just the whole fall vibe of this glimmer kit. So here's my little mushroom all colored with my um, Copics. It still kind of has a little bit of that watercolor like effect the way I colored it. Um, so it was kind of hard to tell which ones I watercolored and which ones I used my markers on. But I, I just love this kit this month. It was so much fun to play with. So I'm building my card um, front now. I have a piece of cardstock all cut out. I added some embroidery twine there and sort of a rusty brown red and I'm just gonna start layering up all of my pieces from this kit on the uh, on the front of my card and I'm using some little foam squares so I can pop up some of these pieces and give it a little bit of dimension so I'm making sure I've got my back of my mushroom all covered with little foam squares and I'm just gonna start layering things on the front of my card now this will make a really clean and simple card if you just want to really keep the focus on these glimmered pieces, but I've also made a card that you might see in the future with a lot of um, patterns with these glimmered um, pieces on there. And the background I kept really simple as well by just adding some gold and watercolor sparkles and um, just uh, flicked them on. I splattered them on in the background so it kind of breaks up just that stark white um, but it doesn't do anything too crazy so that the focus is completely on all of these beautiful glimmered pieces. I'm layering my sentiment on top of my leaves and my mushroom here. I've put some liquid glue on one side and some foam adhesive on the other side and that's how I can just keep the whole sentiment just uh, an even level across. And once I have all of my little pieces uh, applied there, I'm also going to put some of these um, gold pops of color on top of all of my pieces. I'm putting some all around it, putting some on the mushroom, and it really just added a little bit more sparkle and some texture and detail to my card. So after I was done with this whole front, I just put some foam adhesive on the back. I popped it up on a card base and that was it. I was done with my card. So it's so simple to go ahead and glimmer a ton of these little pieces and just have fun coloring them. Keep them on hand so you can pop them on a card and make several cards really quickly and give to a friend. So I hope you enjoyed this look at the Spellbinders October Glimmer Kit. If you haven't already, make sure you check out that description box below to go look at Spellbinders um, website so you can go order your own kit if you're interested. Otherwise, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, um, tap that bell for notifications, and just do all the things. I will catch you guys next time. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.